I felt like it was a uh, sort of a neo noir, and there were there, the character is is in shadow as we get deeper into the film, and and the the noir aspects of it, um, you know, cinema. Um, Cinematographically, they were, you know, very similar parallels, and um, uh, it's, you know, it, you, you follow this John character's story, and he's everything starts pretty bright and happy for him, although he's recently lost his father, he seems to have everything working for him, and then uh, I like the parallels of, of, um, you know, the the older noir films, and this guy starts out as a really good character, and you see what pushes him to the brink of his, uh, you know, sort of his, his his downfall, if you will, or how he handles it, and what, what does it take to push someone so far to the brink where they might do some questionable things. How do you, uh, as a director, get your actor, the main character, of course, to that point where you bring him to that edge? Were there specific things you do as a director to get that emotion out of him? Yeah, and, and some of it helps when your when your lead actor is a producer, oh, yeah. and you just drop bombshells on him like, yeah, you know that really cool uh, piece of equipment that I needed here so we could stay on schedule. It's not here, and we need to get it here. And so it's it's a little bit. It's uh, directors I think make producers sweat a lot, but uh, you can use that to your advantage when the character needs to, you know, stay up and stay sleepless and. Uh, not come to work restless or rested, excuse me, and uh, so that's uh, that's uh, um, that was a nice method way of approaching his character, and it kind of worked for us. And I also tried to shoot it uh, a lot of ways as chronologically as po as possible. And you can't it's, sometimes it's impossible, but you try to do that whenever you can. I think everybody can relate to not being able to sleep, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to take this journey with with Eddie and the story that he wrote. Um, that, that's something we can all relate to. I have bouts of insomnia, and uh, and I also think that it's it takes you on a path that's a little. It's, there's a little bit of a mystery, you know, and and that will pull you through. And and uh, I think it's a film you haven't seen before. What did you come away with from this project on a personal level that you learned doing Insomniac? You know, I was uh, fortunate to work with some really wonderful actors and actors with experience way beyond my experience. This is my second feature, and I really appreciated that. And um, and to see that everybody involved in this film, uh, nobody got a really big fat paycheck. And so people were doing it because they shared a passion that I shared, and it just makes you feel like like you're on the right path when people come and they come prepared and they're not complaining that we don't have a trailer right. or that our craft service consists of pretzel sticks <laughs> and water and uh, but you know really more broadly was to learn you know their methods on how they get into their space to bring their character you know home and bring their character to to the story that we're telling how involved were you in making sure the music was really what you wanted for Insomniac? Well, I brought Ron Fish, our wonderful composer, in, and there's certain cues in the movie that when I'm shooting the film, I'm like, there's like one song for this particular scene, and you hope and pray that you can get those those works licensed, and fortunately we were able to do that. But, you know, music and sound are half the movie, you know? You have your visual uh, aesthetic, you know, uh, your uh, cinematic aesthetic, the, um, but the music, like, let's not forget about that part of it, that mood, and it needs to propel the story and not call attention to itself, but it needs to pull you through the story as well. I'm very excited to see Insomniac, and um, I'll talk to you after the movie. Thank you for the great questions. Thank you so much. Thanks.